Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. So now I'm going to add just a little more texture into the brickwork just to provide a little more irregularity. I've just found this color in the shop. It's not really the right color, but I think it'll read as highlights and give a little bit more depth to my brick. And I'm only going to put it in a few light places. So I'm not going to be very heavy with it. I'll take off some of my paint on the back wall there. And I'm just going to tap it in some places randomly trying not to create a pattern. Just a little something there. Sometimes I like to throw in colors that don't seem to make sense at first, just because they add a little bit of pop and sizzle in the scene painting that wouldn't otherwise be there. Starting to see some brush strokes I have to cover up, but they're gonna they all get covered up with the, with the spatter paint anyway and the other texture coat. Okay, I think I need one more color that's in more in the red colors, so I'm gonna go see if I can find that and we'll add that. I think a light dusting of this color will, will work. It's also a little bit lighter than I wanted, but I think it's going to work. I can make it work. You can make anything work, really. There's a lot of interpretation and open-endedness with scene painting. Again, I don't want to put it on too heavily. I'm using my roller here, my, my sponge roller. I'm just going to pop it on on some of these lighter bricks. No, that's not really working, is it? I need to be more aggressive. And that's going to be a little bit much, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a bit much. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to add some of our mid-tone color in here. It's really a ladle full of the other that I used. I'm going to stir it in a little bit, but I'm actually going to kind of do a little bit of this other technique with the roller. Let not be a perfect blend here, but it's kind of called the, the roller whap whap. Yeah, that color is a little bit more mid tony That's going to be better. Yeah, this is going to give it a little more variety that we weren't quite seeing on the first coat. I'm going to smooth all this out so it disappears a little bit into the background. I don't want to do this over everything. I haven't even gone back and refilled my roller. It's just that the two colors that I was using as the base were really close together and I really needed something with a little bit more 
variation in the mix. It's a little bright here from that first dab, but again, I'll make that go away with spatter coat. Next step, I have to paint all the mortar lines. It's going to be really hard to paint in uh, two colors and get it irregular in the crack. So I'm going to get the irregularity when I do my spatter coat on top of that. Mm -hmm. 